Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. There's a new way for travelers to fly in and out of the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Allegiant Airlines will begin offering nonstop flights to Punta Gorda Airport in Florida come this November. To celebrate, the company says it is offering one-way fares on the new route as low as $69. The new seasonal route will operate twice a week. With the addition of this new flight, Allegiant will serve three cities from the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. A warning to parents now, look out for fake car seats being sold online. The warning comes from Stubain County Sheriff Jim Allard, who called the trend, quote, the worst kind of fraud. Allard says that the knockoff car seats are typically sold by online merchants. The seats are reportedly made of flimsy plastic and often feature plastic buckles instead of metal ones. They also could be missing parts. Additionally, the bogus car seats do not provide registration cards or owner's manuals, according to reports. On Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the Stuben County Sheriff's Office will be conducting child car seat safety checks at the Stuben County Fair. A Spencer woman was arrested after police say they discovered a pound of meth in her car. New York State Police say that on Saturday they conducted a traffic stop for a vehicle and a traffic law violation on State Route 36 in the town of Hornellsville. During a search, police say they found about a pound of meth and a small amount of marijuana. The driver, 41-year-old Marcy Clem, was arrested for drug possession, driving while impaired by drugs and several other traffic violations. A new law that goes into effect tomorrow could bring new hope to child sexual abuse victims in the state of New York. The Child Victims Act was signed into law back in February, and tomorrow it will open a unique window for survivors of child sexual abuse. Starting Wednesday, a one-year period will open where any adult survivors of child sexual abuse can sue an abuser or negligent institution no matter how long ago that abuse took place. Victims now also have until the age of 28 to press felony charges or child sexual abuse and until the age of 25 for misdemeanors. That is a five-year increase from the previous statute of limitations. Meteorologist Kim Walker joins us next with your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, the rain that's falling right now will be ending as we make our way toward the end of the evening hours and into uh, tonight. So our future radar is showing any shower activity out there will start to uh, move off to the east, maybe just an isolated shower to around 3 o'clock. But for your morning commute, we are expecting some morning fog, and then that will give way to a little bit more sunshine for your Wednesday. Temperatures, though, will be cool behind a cold front that is pushing it through our area. So those clouds will start to clear, clear away. It will be breezy, less humid, and then on Thursday, there will be the possibility of spotty showers and a few thunder storms and then those temperatures gradually warming up through the weekend and into early next week. So tonight we drop down to around 60 degrees in Corning, 60 degrees also in Elmira, Bath around 60, 58 degrees in Hornell. Mostly cloudy conditions tonight with the rain ending by tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine with temperatures warming up to around 78 in Elmira, Corning around 77. And you'll notice it won't be quite as humid as what we have today. Temperatures a little bit cooler on Thursday because the rain is returning and then we start to warm up for early in the weekend and into uh, next week. 83 degrees on uh, your Saturday, 86 on Sunday with mostly cloudy conditions. The humidity will also return as well. And so you notice those overnight lows will also increase with lows in the mid 60s and then highs will be in the 80s as we head into your Monday and Tuesday. So temperatures just a little bit warmer than normal. Our average high for this time of year is around 81 degrees. So we'll be close to that for the early part of the weekend. But rain chances do return Thursday and Friday, keeping those temperatures cool for the remainder of the week. I mean, rain chances aside, that looks like a really nice week and nice weekend. Beautiful 70s. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect for me, I think. I'd say so. Thanks, Kim. All right. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.